Hey there, what's up? So, um, battery, not battery, uh, what do you call this? Space ran out, like, despite having initially deleted, anyway, whatever. And in the time that the space ran out, I just finished this project with the hair. I did the one batch. I've got two other batches to go, but I just want to finish this story. And if I'm not busy concentrating on other things with my hands, that's what's good. Then we'll finish it. I don't know where I, I, I last uh, ended off because, like, literally I've lost my bearings, but I think we'll find them again. Uh, I was made to... Sorry, I was given... I made mention of the fact that I was given 500 rands a month. Um, and then it was taken away from me. And then I was told to go and work at Woolies. And during the time I freaked out, so I went back to YouTube. Following which I then, within a month, was slid into the dms off by some dude and he has been the bane of my existence he's abusing me he's actively trying to kill me right now using death curses and um he has he's basically developed an obsession uh towards me because of my sensuality it's like he met a red light district prostitute without having without actually touching her he just saw her behind some glass and he fantasized about ramming into her and then he almost got her and then she slipped right out of his hands and now he's angry that he never got to like go in there he tested positive for hiv and that's why i, I gave that long story in the 34 part ne? uh and so now realizing that he can't have the fantasy of a godly woman mixed together with a stripper he then uh now is just this basic stalker and he's stalking me remotely he's killing me remotely i don't know how many times so there was a celebrity in this country that passed away i forgot her name but she used to she's acted in a show, a show called how to ruin christmas yeah so if you're in south africa you would know who i'm talking about she doesn't have any hair she's bald she she's she was a bald-headed girl um and she she died she passed away in under mysterious circumstances like she was obviously beaten up she was obviously hurt like there were visible signs of trauma on her body like she had bruises and stuff and she was found laying flat on her bed with her face down right and she uh was was found this way by her dad her father is the one that found her right she, there was obviously foul play there because of the evidences on her body but based on the case since the last time i checked it nobody they, he, the guy was not apprehended or the girl whoever killed her whatever led to her death and never really like nobody found out but it was obvious there was some kind of foul play there was a crime committed but nobody has been busted yeah i god keeps on giving me visions of me dying like that girl basically what would basic what, what would be the case if i did die because of this guy's death curses in the run-up to my death there would have been visible signs of trauma like there would have obviously been some kind of supernatural spiritual activity Ish. my phone is hanging on by a thread because it's sitting on the bum on a charger i don't have a stand and maybe anything well i do actually have a stand but it's like back there but if i had got a stand i'd have to put it back there anyway whatever let's just hope it stays this time yeah, no, this this chick um, passed away under those conditions, right? And when I found out that she had passed away, I was like, oh my goodness, that's unfortunate. That that really sucks, actually. Um, I did let you guys know that I come from a season of watching a whole bunch of nonsense on Netflix. So that's how I found her through that show, Yeah, How to Ruin Christmas. She died under those conditions and the Lord showed me that, right? So the girl was found by her dad lying face down on her bed and there were obvious signs of trauma. God was showing me that if I don't clean up my act and basically go to war with this guy i will find your dead body my daughter and there will be obvious signs in the run-up to your death that you're being harassed spiritually it will be clear from your social media accounts that you were cursed that there was a whole bunch of witchcraft going on but nobody will be able to identify your murderer and i will rock up and in all of my devastation be the one to find your dead body yeah so god keeps showing me my death basically being like that woman but of course he is my protector my shield and my coverer so he would never ever let that happen but he has been giving me flash visions of that woman's death ever since right yeah, that, that's basically what, what's uh, going on here. This guy is actively trying to kill me. And the last 34-part series that I did, I literally said, guys, SOS, there is a man trying to kill me right now. Like, literally, he's... he's The last dream I had about him was about two nights ago. Mm -mm, not two nights. I, I get dreams about him every night. But the last really violent dream that I got about him was about two nights ago. Where, you know when a person is punching a person, like, like on the floor. 
that's already unconscious. I had a dream of this dude just punching somebody on the floor and they were already unconscious. They like, stop. It's like killing a person, stabbing a person multiple times and long after they're dead, you're still stabbing. But this guy, instead of stabbing, he was punching. And I woke up from a dream to recall that. And I was like, whoa, is this how violent this guy is right now towards me? And God was like, yeah, that's exactly what this dude is doing. Like, that's how much he's investing in your death. He's trying to get you to die. But remember I told you in my dream, I couldn't see who was being punched. Mm -hmm. It was like he was like a punching into air. He is doing a lot of witchcraft and he's afflicting me spiritually in the sense that I'm exhausted all the time and all that jazz. But he's not actually hitting me. He's hitting blanks. I keep on getting dream. I had a dream of him like hitting his pistol, his gun. On some track, you know when you hit a TV to check for signal? But he was doing that with a gun. On some, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Just this morning, I woke up seeing him, having recalled the dream, where he was sitting in a corner, very small. He was a tiny little man. And he said to himself, she's not dead. She's not dead. Witchcraft has a sell-by date. Uh, people who practice witchcraft, like the occult, who have come out of the darkness, who have done death curses, they often speak about how it is that a person has to die from within a certain range of time after they have cast their spell. And if they don't die by that time, then who I something is covering them, something is protecting them. Well, from what the Lord has shown me, the time with frame within which I was supposed to die has progressed. How does this guy know I'm not dead? He's checking out my YouTube channel. Uh, and when I upload content, well, obviously, I am not dead, right? Um, he keeps on coming there to bewitch me extra. He's just a psychopath. What's that? He's just a stranger that has become obsessed with a woman he couldn't have. And the reason why I'm in this position being killed by a, a foreign stranger is the fact that my family has been abusing me and this dude feels like it is his prerogative to finish me off. So he's a very satanic man and there's like, well, from what I see, not really much I can do for him. I don't know what in the world is going on with this guy. I don't care at this point. I have just been surviving him by the skin of my teeth. God wants me to knock him out altogether. Like, altogether. And there is a spiritual way to knock him out. And the Lord has been showing me I need to strengthen myself to conquer or to prosper, to knock him out. And not only him, but many of the other petty witches. So he is the most obsessed uh, obsessed at the present moment with me. But there are every so often some random ex-friend of mine that might just get an idea to cast her. Let me make sure Garaba never rises again spell. And then she goes back to her job. And then there's another person that's like, let me make sure Garabo never gets her job. Like, there are people who keep on just going back to take care of their existing witchcraft and then they leave again. But this dude is actively looking at me and working on the daily. And the things that he is sending my way are causing a lot of depression, melancholy. I'm getting a lot of nightmares of ropes, um, like around my neck, Kankani. Oh, just two nights, three or two nights ago, I had a dream of him. You know, Trata, hang, hang, this These metal wiry hangers for clothing. He had unwound a, 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 a wire of that nature and pulled, he was pulling me by it so I would die. He's investing in lots of witchcraft and he is paying. So he tried himself to do a death curse in his own environment because he's practicing within his own capacity. But he got frustrated by his weakness and he imagined he needed something stronger. So he paid some sat satanic woman from Jamaica to help him. He's now going outside of himself using money he doesn't even have to pay dark men. Well, it's a woman that he showed me that is known for succeeding with death curses. And this now woman is who is sitting on me. And this time around, it's getting so dangerous for me because of the level of depression in my body that God has basically has been whispering into me, telling me fast, fast, let's go to the next part.